good afternoon, Professor and my classmate. Um, today I'm going to... Your dress. name? Uh, my name is Mi Huynh. Uh, I will share with you some of my review and some of my observation from the syllabus and as well as uh, my expression of the videos that the professor share on the Moodles. Um, I'm sorry I didn't, pro I didn't prepare a slide show to show, to show you here, but I tried to um, uh, give you, present to you three um, uh, main points. The first is the review from Dr. Skipper. Uh, so from the last two weeks, uh, Dr. Skipper shared with us um, uh, the most important thing, uh, how to become uh, a leadership. And um, the thing that I was impressed the most is employers, uh, they hire their employees based on their attitude. So what is attitude? Attitude is you can work in a team, you can take criticism, uh, you can communicate well with your employer, your staff and your co-worker and as well as you can ha have to be a self starter and uh, for a leader or for a manager listening skill is the most important thing because most of managers or leaders they fail um, in the few years because they cannot keep a good uh, relationship with their staff or their employees because they don't listen well to them so and I think that listening is also um, a key point in uh, the appreciation because um, I have heard uh, from many people that listening skill is very important if we just spend time to listen to someone who want to share with us uh, their story it helps them a lot uh, you just listen and just don't say anything else just sit and listen to them because from my personal experience uh, sometimes I do really need a person who just sits next to me to listen to my story and of course, I don't need them to uh, criticize me or give me any advice, just need someone to listen. So, and I, of course, learning how to listen to the other people is, is not a, an easy thing to do. Uh, but as Dr. Skipper um, advised us uh, last week, that if you can just uh, improve your listening skill by this, you will become a very successful person in the future. The second point I'm going to share with you is my observation from the syllabus of this class. So I know that um, we will use a lot of PowerPoint slideshow to use in this classroom. Uh, the main reason is we share our opinions and ideas uh, after we read the chapter or after we see a video that the professor requires. And uh, sharing opinions and ideas will be required and we will work in team. So, uh, and I think it will improve our attitude because um, one of the, the main points of our attitude is we, we can work in a team. So if we work in a team but we don't want to share our opinions and ideas, so I think it, it would not be a successful team. So I, I have to uh, repair myself and of course I hope that my teammates will repair ourselves, that we, we share our ideas and we are all equal in the class. So just share the idea and don't think that oh my idea is not the uh, right thing or your idea is not right. Um, I think um, this class uh, we will just be like a friendly or family environment where people come here and share the ideas together. And the last thing I want to share with you is my video impression. So I saw the video clip that the professor recorded the students in the class and I I can see that they are very relaxed in the class uh, with a lot of drawing on the papers with uh, their imagination um, their ideas about a topic and they came here and present their slideshow I think that it's very relaxed and um, sometimes I see students have fun too so I hope our, cl our class will be as fun as they had before and uh, also team book spirit is on is a very high recommended in uh, this class too and uh, another video that um, was posted on the Moodle by the professors is um, the video about the a lady she I, I don't remember her job Jill, Jill Bolter she was a scientist yes and she 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 got a stroke yeah. 
I, I watched the video um, to be honest at the first as the beginning of the video I wasn't impressed much with her talking but later on I was impressed by her story and I can feel the, the message that she wants to share with us is we have to be appreciate of how we are today because you can you don't know and you cannot predict one day you will be like her like one day she go up go up and she feel realized that she she got a stroke mm -hmm. and her two men side of the brain cannot connect together and her story based on her true story and i was very impressed and um, after the video, I think that from now on, I had to learn how to appreciate how am I, uh, how I want to be, and how I have to become. And because that must be the reason why we are born in this world. And we have to live that life in a meaningful way. And we should do our best thing when we can do. Mm -hmm. So that's all I want to share with okay. you. And well, you do an excellent example of that engaging people all the time you face them your eyes were looking out at them and so you appeared comfortable in yourself you know because your, your energy wasn't directed towards the board or anything and so you came across as very authentic that we believed what you were saying you know, because it was very natural. You had your notes, but you only looked at them, then explained, then you went, what's the next point, and then you explained. So that's um, not only good content, but um, you're already quite advanced in your presentation skills and everything. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, to share with the, the class, this is my first time I present something without my slideshow after me. Oh, so, and yes. also I wanted to say, you don't have to do presentations. In fact, I would imagine that some of them, you know, like on a slideshow, some of the most effective presentations are like you did. You did a very effective presentation without a slideshow. The slideshow can be distracting, you know, especially if it, this, this, the main thing is it distracts you from engaging and Remember when I said influence is at the center of things? Well, at the center of influence is engagement. So if you're negotiating, trying to influence someone, and they can see that you're engaged, as you were with this audience, that you're present, and you see them present, that's the center of influence. To learn how to engage with your audience, to learn how to engage with your colleagues, and it comes from um, the other part of the course we're trying to do, which is appreciate yourself better than you do, to understand you really do have everything already. You already have everything you need. You just need the practice in, in displaying it. And you are a really good example uh, of that for us. So again, thank you. Thank you so much for your listening. <laughs>